As we get deeper into rifle season, several butcher shops around the area are busy processing deer. Jordan Mansberger spoke with one butcher who's working to make sure the venison gets to where it is needed the most. For many, deer season means a chance to reconnect with nature and spend some time in the great outdoors. But for Jason Gill, owner of the Country Butcher in Clearfield County, and his workers, it means the busiest time of the year. We typically cut 50 deer a day. Uh, and that'll last for two and a half weeks. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we're right on track with what we've been the last couple of years. Gill's family is full of avid hunters who always donate the meat from their hunts. But for the past number of years, they've been participating in Hunters Sharing the Harvest, a statewide initiative to donate unwanted venison to those in need. The Hunters Sharing the Harvest program is a free program to any, any hunter. They do not pay anything. All they have to do is stop in, fill out the paperwork, and they're on their way. Since joining the program, they've handled about 10 times the deer that they did before. Just last year, Gill says they donated over 2,700 pounds of meat. They will pick up the meat and they will distribute it themselves if needed. However, when I signed up, I said I wanted everything to stay within the Clearfield community, and they were okay with that. So I have a list of food banks and churches that, uh, that I call. But so far this year, donation numbers have been down. Gill says he doesn't believe it's because less people are hunting or willing to donate, though. I believe it's people are donating it to people themselves. So they're coming in, they're having a process, and they're donating it to family or friends that they know. And that's, I mean, we've had a lot of people come in and say, hey, we're going to donate this, but we're going to pay for it and we're going to take it and donate it. Hunters Sharing the Harvest has donated over 2.5 million pounds of meat since it was founded in 1991. So keep in mind, if you do kill a deer and you don't want the meat, someone else will. Reporting in Woodland, I'm Jordan Mansberger, WTAJ News.